Hello there, my name is Alexander and this is The Italian Screenwriter. The Zone of Interest, directed and written by Jonathan Glazer, was nominated five times at the 96th Academy Awards and won Best International Film and especially Best Sound. And the Oscar goes to The Zone of Interest. Taryn Willers, Johnny Byrne. In the screenplay, two storylines are followed. The one we see on screen and the one we do not see, but only hear. The visible storyline follows the domestic and daily affairs of the Hoss family, while the audible one describes events that occur beyond the wall that borders their home garden, within the concentration camp commanded by Rudolf Hoss himself. <laughs> The screenplay consists of 76 pages in total, and the word sound appears 26 times, which is once every 2.9 pages. Additionally, the notation off-screen, which precedes further descriptions of sounds and noises that are heard but occur outside the camera's view and thus are not seen, appears an additional six times without using the word sound. References to sound and noise in the screenplay total 32, with a ratio of 1 by 2.3 relative to the total number of pages. Wer war alles da? Ehrlich gesagt, hab nicht wirklich drauf geachtet, wer alles da war. This ratio is incredibly high, especially compared to other screenplays. For example, the screenplay for The Teacher's Lounge, also nominated for the 96 Academy Awards, has a total of 89 pages and only three references to sound in its action lines at page 37, 87, and 88, once every 29.67 pages. Wenn ihr wissen wollt, wo ihr steht, könnt ihr gerne zu mir kommen am Ende der Stunde. By taking a step further, analyzing the content of these described sounds in the zone of interest, one can gradually uncover the narrative line that is not seen but remains diegetic and is explored parallel to the events directly involving the Haas family. We won't look at every writing intervention related to sound in detail, but I will highlight just one to understand how Jonathan Glazer, as a screenwriter, intended to incorporate this aspect to the story. At page 21, scene 40, we read, Off screen, sounds of women, children, and babies screaming in panic. Mothers being forcibly separated from their children. Dog barks. Male German voices yelling orders. Sounds of stream train engine hissing. A child's cry. A gunshot close by. Typically, in scripts, sound descriptions are vague and serve to convey the idea of the sound. However, in this screenplay, Glazer goes into detail with visual writing to precisely describe what happens off-screen, making it perceptible and almost tangible to the audience through sound intervention. The description is macabre and eerie, akin to that of a horror film. Within the story and within this scene as well, what is even more eerie is the reaction of Rudolf Hoss. Page 21, scene 40. Rudolf glances downwards for an instant, looks back up and out, impassively, off screen. That cry stops, but the awful sounds of children wailing in terror continues. The word sound appears twice in the first scene of the script for The Zone of Interest, when the screen is still black, and it's the 42nd word that appears. It is no surprise that the film directed by Jonathan Glazer won the 2024 Academy Award for Best Sound. As seen, the role of sound does not originate in the editing room. Instead, it finds its genesis in the screenplay, and even earlier in the idea, the conflict, the story, and the concept of the film itself. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, leave a comment and consider subscribing for more.